Good morning and welcome to Pharmacology Now with Jesse and Megan. Today we'll be featuring regular insulin or trade name is Humulin R. Humulin was first introduced in 1983. It is classified as an anti-diabetic and it duplicates insulin produced by the pancreas. Humulin controls diabetes specifically in patients with a blood glucose levels greater than 200 milligrams per deciliter. Today on our show, we'll be featuring Dr. Horton and her head nurse, Brooklyn, to discuss all the specifics that you need to know about Humulin R. Good morning, I'm Dr. Samantha Horton. And I'm her nurse, Brooklyn. And today we're gonna to talk about some of the side effects, adverse reactions, and contraindications of Humulin R. Some of the side effects that you might see whenever taking this drug are confusion, agitation, tremors, redness, irritation, or swelling at the injection site. Some of the adverse reactions that may occur from taking this drug as well are hypoglycemic reaction, tachycardia, which is a fast heart rate, palpitations, or insulin shock. If you see any of these adverse reactions, you need to contact your healthcare provider immediately. Some contraindications that may prevent you from taking Humulin are, are hypersensitivity, hypoglycemia, hypokalemia, fever, surgery or trauma, or nausea and vomiting. What are some important drug interactions our patients should be aware of when taking Humulin R? If you take Humulin R and you also take a diuretic, a glucosteroid, thyroid agent, or an estrogen, it can increase your blood glucose levels. If you take drugs such as tricyclic antidepressants, MAOIs, aspirin products, or oral anticoagulants, you may not need as much insulin. Can you demonstrate for us how to administer Humulin R? Yes. My nurse Brooklyn has pink zones indicated where you can inject Humulin. In the upper arm, the abdomen, the thigh, and the flank. When you are going to inject Humulin R into yourself or a patient, be sure to have A, the correct insulin syringe. Notice the orange cap, the majority of them have orange caps. Also have the correct vial. Uh, this one is Humulin R, it has an R. Also use a sterile alcoholic cloth or wipe to sterilize the area before injection. Um, with Humulin R, there are a few things to consider, especially when injecting. With the sites, for one week, you're going to use the same site or sites, depending on how many times a day you take your insulin. If you take insulin twice a day, for instance, you would use, say, your upper arm and your abdomen. The upper arm would be for mornings. The abdomen would be for dinner or afternoon. When you do inject for a complete week, make sure each injection is about a knuckle width apart so that the site does not become inflamed or red. Um, also, with insulin, exercising decreases how much insulin you will receive, and when you have an infection or a fever, always take more insulin. What are some important nursing implications for our future nurses to remember to teach their patient about Humulin R injections? For future nurses, uh, be sure to check vital signs it is important to get these before an injection is done. Um, the reference value for a diabetic is usually 60 to 100 milligrams per deciliter, uh, but most of our patients with Humulin R have above a 200. Also, uh, monitor a client's HbA1c. This is a just a broad diabetic control. And then if hypoglycemia does occur, uh, have your patient drink orange juice or a soda that is rich in sugar, such as Dr. Pepper, even hard candy, and this will increase their blood sugar. Um, patients that have Humulin R, you should stress to them the importance of wearing a bracelet, a medic alert bracelet, or a medic alert card in their wallet. Okay, great. This has been Megan and Jesse. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Pharmacology Now.